Hello guys, welcome back, your friend to play here and today as promised I'm gonna release this video that will explain step by step and um, so far it seems to be the safest and 100% working uh, steps to prepare uh, your SD USB master's device to burn it on the uh, USB, your image to the USB, we're gonna expand it and um, I'm gonna go through the boot steps so you can put it fine so we're gonna do the other stub so you can see how it looks nice and clean when you have the correct boot partition selected we're gonna do the updates that um, to verify that everything is running okay and I think we're ready to just move to the first step which is to prepare a clean buster OS Alright, so let's get moving. So we're going to start our browser. In my case is the Chrome and I'm going to type Raspbian download. I'm going to select it and we'll click on Raspbian from the results. Scroll down and we select the second option, not the one with the recommended software. We just need only the desktop. So we're going to use the Raspbian Buster with desktop. We click the download zip and the download starts so i already have this in my download so i'm gonna go and cancel and we're gonna start start editor and we can continue with burning this image so it is started we we'll go select i go to my downloads and then scroll down and I select my Raspbian Buster, not the light one. Light one is another image that I have that doesn't have a, a, a desktop. So we select that. We select our target SD card. I'm just going to burn it on a normal 8 gig I have spare SD card. Nothing special. Alright guys, so now we are on the desktop. Uh, this is a clean Raspbian Buster OS I'm using from uh, my base, my clean base 5.4 from Playbox. I have already pre-installed the departed and I'm going to show you it's very very easy to install this, just one command. So we start the terminal from the top and then we type sudo apt-get install departed and press enter and we install. And now we can close the terminal and we go to the menu, go to system tool and select out the desktop and we're done. So in my case the password is playbooks with PB capitals and the rest lowercase as is case sensitive uh, now that you already know. And in your case if you're not using a clean, uh, you don't have handy a clean um, uh, playbook space then you can use just uh, the image that we just prepared before and the password will be raspberry the default for raspbian so there we have this is my 32 gig sd card i'm going to change this to the usb the 960 gig and i'm going to select the partition i'm going to unmount the root fs i'm going to select the green one which is the, the boot and i'm going to unmount that too and what we're going to do as the next step is we're going to delete these partitions so we have two ways to do that you can select right click and click delete or you can click this uh, red icon on the top you do the same for the boot and then we click apply the green tick apply and that's it close and now we're going to create a new full size partition and we're going to make it NTFS so it can be recognized easily by the windows apply and that's it so close and our disk is ready for burning the image of our choice in 
uh, our Windows or operating system using Etzer. So I'm gonna go and reboot now since we're done. We we'll move to the next step, burning. Alright, we're back in uh, the uh, OS, so I'm gonna burn the 64 gig virtual man latest demons. I'm opening my editor and I'm gonna drop drag the image file to the editor section about to say select image and there you are and now I'm gonna go and select in my case I'm gonna burn it on my NVMe 512 I'm gonna select it continue and I'm gonna flash it Alright guys, so we're back on the uh, desktop of the Raspbian. We're gonna start the departed and we put the password as you saw the two partitions that boot and root faces on the desktop because of our USB. So now that this part is started, we're gonna go and select our USB device. In my case is my 512 NVMe. So I'm gonna click the partition I want to resize, the yellow one which is the root FS. I click that icon with arrow and I slide so I can select the full size. You can also right click on the partition and select the same thing. And then we click apply and we wait for a few seconds for all the tasks to be completed. And as you will see, everything will complete successful. And uh, our partition from 4709 gigabytes will get expand to 476.69 gigabytes. It's going to take the full space. There we are, it's done. So we're going to close the departed. We can shut down and we can move to the final step. I guess the booting, the first boot of our freshly burned and expanded image. Okay, gents, this is our first boot. Uh, I hope you have your keyboard ready. We need this just for the first time because um, unfortunately these emotes and probably like uh, the 512, you're gonna experience like probably blank screen and you're gonna think that what's going on, nothing is uh, working. Don't worry about it in case something's stuck on the background. I just press Control, I'll delete after 30, 40 seconds and uh, your Pi will reboot. Since this is a Pi string uh, image, then uh, you're gonna see that the quick splash screen for a couple of seconds. That's the first boot, actual boot. There you are. And then uh, the Pi is rebooting and we're gonna have the full normal boot. We're gonna see the full um, splash screen and it's gonna go to the emulation station for us setting up our controller.
All right, so we booted fine and I set up the controller. So I'm going to exit to the command line. And uh, I want you to notice that there's no info on the boot partition. That's because we have never set up the FS tab. And this is the important thing. You just keep this um, as a note and you'll see what's going to happen when we fix this. So we type sudo nano etc. FS tab. I'm going to put the command in the description and I'm going to edit the first line for the boot. We're going to delete the first part up to 0, 01. And then we're going to type forward slash dev slash forward slash sorry mmc blk 0 p1 and then we press ctrl x yes and we're going to save the file so this as i said will make the pi our pi to use the correct boot partition in our case which is the one located on the SD card and you're going to have the correct info and in my case because it's a 2 gig you're going to see instead of the usual 256 megs partition that you're going to see you're going to see that I have about 2 gigs so I'm starting the Playbox Toolkit and I'm going to reboot And as you can see, another nice clean boot. Look how smooth everything goes. It's really, really nice and smooth. And I'm going to exit to the CLI one more time so you can see what I'm talking about. See, no, no errors. Uh, and now we have the correct boot partition info that says that I have my boot partition it's uh, an sd card of 2 gig that i'm using to boot this uh, usb device and since the usb uh, direct boot is not supported yet by the current firmware on the pi 4 i'm going to wait a little bit longer i'm going to keep on using uh, this method with sd plus the usb uh, device and i'm going to provide for you the whole files that i have on this sd and you can put it on your SD card just format it FAT32 and just copy paste these files into it and you're set to go with this. You can use it for other boots and stuff like that.
So, um, again, thank you very much for watching. I'll try to keep it uh, uh, simple and quick. So, um, I don't want to tire you with a very long video. Thank you again for watching. Hope you can subscribe and uh, support. Thank you very much.